Hey guys, this is Ninja Sloth 64, and I'm back, finally. Um, yeah, welcome to my next LP, well, not my next LP, the next LP I'm actually gonna finish, the first one I'm gonna finish, uh, is Banjo-Kazooie. I plan on finishing this, uh, there's no way I'm gonna stop doing this one, I really love this game, this is one of my favorite games ever. And I've got music now, so that automatically increases the quality. So yeah, I mean, listen to this music. This is like the main theme. Uh, yeah. Pretty much, anytime you're in the overworld, you'll hear a rendition of this. A remix of it. And, I gotta apologize right now. There are gonna be some, uh, lag spikes, because I am doing this on an emulator. But it should just be mainly during, uh, during cutscenes like this, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But yeah, I'm back, guys. I got a new, uh, got a new laptop with a Skype mic built in, so now you can actually have some, uh, some quality commentary instead of the, uh, you know, having to hold your head up against the speakers just to hear what I'm saying. And then on top of that, that wasn't even interesting commentary. So yeah, I'm hoping to be a lot better with it. And yeah, so that was the intro. Uh, let's uh, let's get into this game. Like I was saying, this is one of my favorite games ever. I I grew up watching my brother play this game. We even had a uh, we even had a little game guide, and I would read that thing cover to cover. Like the pictures are so awesome, and yeah. So basically, I learned to 100% this game when I was like six, probably. I mean, it's not a hard game to 100%, but, you know. But yeah, this game's a lot of fun. It's made by Rare, so you'll see a lot of their comic genius. Uh, in this cutscene, actually. Well, I'm gonna have to do voice acting. Crap. Alright, let's see what I can do. <clears throat> ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. And, <laughs> see, she she's picked her nose, you know, I mean. Only Rare would put something like that in their game. They're, they're real funny like that. Awkward silence. Uh, but there is this girl. What? What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. So yeah, Grunty's gonna, you know, find out there's some pretty girl down in the, down, I guess it's a village, I don't really know what you'd call it, there's only really one house, and yeah, you must be mad, nicer beauty can't be had. In case you haven't noticed, Grunty likes to talk in rhymes, so yeah, she does that like, for every line in the entire game. There's one line, well no, she finally stopped rhyming in the sequel, usually, mainly because I think they ran out of rhymes, but yeah. I mean, she rhymes in the beginning, and then she kind of stops. Uh, I think that was mainly because, yeah, I, I just said that. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Um, yeah, here's Bottles. Uh, he's basically your tutorial. Not, I hate him. Most people hate him. He's pretty annoying. Oh, wait, can I speed this up? No, I can't. Alright, so, and there's Tootie. That's Banjo's little sister. And, yeah, when Banjo wakes up, they're gonna go on an adventure. Sounds like fun. And, uh, Banjo's just sleeping. Catching some Z's. There's Kazooie. Yeah, Kazooie's the, uh... Kazooie does most of the work in this game, honestly. I mean, Kazooie, she does pretty much everything. All the moves that you learn throughout the game are for her, really. Okay, so yeah, apparently this witch, Grunty, is planning on stealing... Uh, she's planning on stealing Tootie's looks. Don't know how she's gonna do that, but I guess, you know, she is a witch. I guess she, she could figure out how to do something like that. And there's Bottles doing a little Nazi salute. I don't know why we put that in the game. I don't think they were intending that. I think he was just playing in the sky, but whatever. So, yeah. I got a message from YouTube lately talking about how I can upload longer videos. I didn't think I deserved that, honestly. I didn't. I haven't done hardly anything on this channel. 
I didn't, I mean, seriously, I didn't realize that you could get one that easily, like, the right to upload longer than 15 minutes. I'm not gonna exploit that, though. I don't even, I don't think I'm ever gonna even hit the 15-minute mark. I can't keep commentary going for that long, honestly. I gotta collect my thoughts in between videos. So Banjo's finally w woken up. And, uh, yeah. Because we falls off of the coat rack. Again, only rare would put that in the game. So yeah, we finally got control. Let's uh, let's go outside. And here's bottles. I'm gonna try to skip most of this if I can. Speed this up. Um, but yeah, notice it changes the voices just in case you're wondering. I'm Banjo, and here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Gargoyle boy. What was all that noise about where where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down in, of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Kiki. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Okay, whatever. So he says to press A if you uh, want to learn the moves. I'm going to press B instead. So yeah, skip that. Didn't I say I was going to skip this? Whatever, let's go. Come on. Alright, so we got our moves. So yeah, basically, I guess I can, I can go over the controls real quick. Okay, so... A to jump. A again to do that little tap kazoo flap. Um, a and then B in the air does a little air attack. So you can roll. What else is there? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do while crouching. If you crouch and press Z, you do that thing. Or if you do A, you basically do the backflip from Mario. You don't have it's all it's all vertical though. You don't like move around. You can I guess if you want. And that about sums it up. The enemies in this area are really weird too. Like, I have no idea what like who decided to make a bunch of vegetation, you know, be our enemy. But whatever. And here is a honeycomb piece. Uh, you gotta crouch down and do that. It's really awkward doing this on an emulator with all these controls. I mean, I mean, if you can just try to imagine do, trying to do 360 controls with arrow keys, it, it's hard. It's really hard to do. I'm not even joking. Um. But, oh, hit the carrot. Oh, I hit it again. Oh my god, dude, really? Okay, there we go. Almost dying in the overworld. Okay, there's some life. Yeah, whatever. It's a nice little honeycomb. Anyway. So yeah, I was saying with the... Okay, let's see if I can do this. Uh, see, that, that jump is usually so easy, but with the emulator, that's... it's. I can't say the same for the emulator. It's really hard to move around. Um, I can't really promise that I'm gonna be doing this 100%. I have done it before. Like I said, I figured how to do that when I was like six. But my point is, on an emulator, there's it's really next to impossible to do precise platforming. I failed that again, just to prove my point. Well, no, I didn't do that, just to prove my point. But that does prove my point. Anyway, like I was saying, um, you know, there are some jiggies later in the game, those are basically the stars in this game, but there are some jiggies later in the game that really require some intense platforming, so, I mean, I I've seen two, two ways out of this, either A, I don't go for 100%, I'll try for those a couple times, and if I fail, then I'll skip them, or B, if, if, uh, at some point in the let's play, the going gets tough, and I can't, uh, if I can't get a jiggy, then I, I might use save states. I, I really don't know yet. I really don't want to use save states on such an easy game. You know, like I was saying, with arrow keys, you know, there's going to be a lot of screw-ups, so I might want to use save states. You know, so there's a third one. There's six of these in this world, in case I forgot to mention. So we're gonna swim around and collect all of these. 
Um, yeah, then there's swimming controls. Those are actually pretty easy. You just press B to dive, and you can swim around with B. Or you can use A to do a little paddle. I don't know what that would be. I don't know exactly if that's what you'd call it. But yeah, like, that's for more control kind of stuff. Okay, so we already got four of them. I'm trying to figure out what the others are. Oh, yeah. So then there's this one. You gotta use the, uh, weird move I was talking about. Like the, the, yeah, that one. You gotta break all these rocks. You don't even have to do this if you don't want to. This is just to get the extra life for your life bar. Which I do recommend doing. Um, you can complete this entire game pretty easily with the just five hits, but, you know. It does help tremendously to get all these, get these guys. Okay, we just got one more to get, and there's that. Oh yeah, it's right up here. It's all back-to-back, -back, so it's kind of hard to miss them. All we gotta do is get this guy. Alright, got it. It's the last honeycomb we need, and I was gonna play a little jingle. Not a jingle, whatever you call that. It's gonna refill our life and give us one extra. Kind of like heart pieces, I guess. Anyway. So, let's see, now we just gotta find the bridge. Where's that bridge at? It's on the opposite side, isn't it? Okay, whatever, no biggie. Let's, uh, let's get over there. And just, as soon as we get over there, I'll probably, uh, probably end it once we get to the top. So, yeah. Uh, I'm really glad to be doing another LP, guys. I really am. So... Yeah, I mean, just just the quality of this LP. I mean, my commentary is kind of off a little bit right now, like it always is. <laughs> but, you know, e just having the music and stuff is going to make this a lot better, even if there are lag spikes all over the place. I'm hoping it won't become that much of an issue. Okay. So you're ready to tackle the witch now? You sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Alright, well, we'll keep that in mind, Bottles. Um, so yeah. I like how the music changes, it's all ominous. So yeah. I guess we'll stop here. So, in the next part, we'll go into Gruntilda's lair, and we'll, uh, start kicking ass. So, this, this is Ninja Thought 64, and I'll see you guys later.